welcome back to another new video. Now, I know you've been wondering, Tori, why haven't you been posting over the weekend? And it's mainly because I went camping to Arizona and I got no signal <laughs> the entire weekend. Um, but today we have something new and different. Today we're going to be playing a game called Evolution Simulator, something like that. And it's pretty much a game where you build your thing, your human building, and you, you add joints, muscle, and bones so that connect the dots, make that bone framework, and then you get your muscles and you just, you pretty much just attach everything to everything for entertainment. And then, it, um, it simulates the evolutionary process of which it takes the best of, like, the furthest, furthest it moved, and then it duplicates that one for the next batch, and then it just simulates that over and over and over until you get the best one that can run the furthest. Now, today... Our goal is to create a running creation, something that can go speed. And, you know, I just put some muscles here and let, let's see what happens. Let's just hit a wall. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> um, I don't think that's supposed to happen. We're only on Generation 1. Well, I mean, we are only on Generation 1. Um, oh my, it's actually doing really, whoa, it can jump now, I don't know, I don't know what happened here, it's pretty, pretty violent. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty chaotic, yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to, um, to let it live in, oh. To, to live in agony its entire life. But I'm going to get started on my our little creation. <laughs> okay, so what I was thinking for this somewhat, um, like, viable being is just to, like, make it an M shape, you know? I have a feeling this will do pretty well. It might be able to, like, re like hop or do something maybe we just do something like that perfect and then we just place muscles everywhere to everything a cross cross attach muscles and let's see how it works okay let's evolve mmm <laughs> that looks doesn't look like it's doing too well I mean, it is vibrating its way. Oh, oh, it sort of has somewhat a walk. You know, I'm going to give this thing like 100 or 200 different generations, and we'll see what it gets itself to. Okay, everyone, welcome back to generation 131. Uh, I've been letting this thing run for a while, and... We have a viable form of transport. I mean, it looks really successful. I mean, it just contract, push, contract, push, and then just it goes places. What should we name this thing? You know, go ahead and comment below what we should what we should name this. I think it's more of a a Gerald or Jeffrey or Spring. You know, it could it could be anything. Yeah, that's, that thing's really going. Well, um, I mean, if you ever wanted to get something to, to run a hundred miles per second, um, I guess just make an M, give it muscles, and wait an hour. <laughs> but, yeah, there you go. 
walking, well, running, jumping, I don't know what to call it, creation. And I presume this has been unnamed and Tori from Oxlaw Labs. And we will see you guys next time. Bye.